We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Knights and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. Six. One yard loss for the halfback. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Five wide. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Seven-yard line. They pick up at the most four yards on the screenplay. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Fakes to the back, throws it to the outside, makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. From their own 25 yard line, first down. after a decent run up the gut. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Third and nine. Ball on their own 27. And they got him. 
Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 49. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He fights forward to about the 49. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 49. tries to buy some time he gets sacked on the play he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down boy excellent play by the defense here a few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open strike and he drops it so that'll make it fourth down the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20 and so far it's been totally even in close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. On the run. Runs outside for a nice game. Second and five. Ball on their own 25. Short over the middle. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. their own 42 yard line it's first down brought down after a nice run up the middle so at the end of one quarter still no score We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 34. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34. some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. He's knocked out of bounds at the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. And that sets them up with a first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And 
and he gets the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 81-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And down he goes at the 31. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. It's his running back, and it's knocked out. The 37 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They'll bring him down at the 33 yard line. That makes it second and 14. Second and 14. Ball on the 33. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's at midfield. Nice catch on that one. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 47-yard line. the 47-yard line. First down. On play action. He has all day, but scrambles out. Fires it out. Brought down at the 43. That makes it second and six. Makes it on to maybe the 40-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he just gets rid of it. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. First down, 10 yards to go. 
Ball on the 35-yard line. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. The screen is good for four. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at Mike least three. to get them a medium gain on the play. Mike four, Mike four. Three. Setting up blockers, your running back's got it on the screen. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They give to the tailback. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Slings it. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 33. He steps up. There's a strike complete. He's down. The Knights call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Got a man. Watch out here. This one's going deep to the end zone. This is the ninth play of this drive. Catches it and he's punished. Quick throw out to the receiver. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11-play, 82-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. We get a tie game at 7-7. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they get nice yardage on that run. The offense calls a timeout. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. And they get the sack. So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. It's second and 15. Ball on the 20. And he's taken down at the 22 yard line. Third down. him hard at the 18. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Push him out right around the 12 yard line. And he's tackled around the 10 yard line. Third down again. to about the eight-yard line. again completely forgot about him and he made him pay for it big time he splits the uprights with the extra point and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle made at the 45. 
first down. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. And scooped up. He's at the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 35. Had his hands on it and dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Down at the 29. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 45. five-yard line. It's first down. Looking for the corner. Makes it out to about the 29. Inside the 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. The short yardage defense here. They make the stop at the four-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end.
the PAT. It was a five-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. So the score now, 28-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Knights are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. He's taken down right around the 40. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From their own 40-yard line, first down. After a decent pickup. Good for a game of six yards. That brings us to the From the 43 yard line, first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. So at the end of three, the Cavaliers lead 28-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Tries to get around the corner. Decent run here, right side. We've got a first and ten. Ball in the 29. quickly and he's got his man about six yards on the play this is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back the quarterback puts the ball right on the money for a nice game so it's second down now they need about four yards to pick up the first Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down right around the 20. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That'll make it second and inches. This is the 11th play of the current drive. And 
And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Makes the PAT. And he's taken down at the 42 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 38. Just under three to go in regulation. the middle for a nice game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The Knights will use their first time out of the half. It's second and five here. Ball on the 26. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. The 10. Tackle around the 7-yard line. So he turns the counter into a 9-yard gain. The Knights using their third and last timeout. They'll work the left. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Steps out of bounds at the four. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. And he just gets rid of it. So not only did they risk an interception, but now they've given him more time. I just don't get it. This is the ninth play of this drive. Just over a minute left. And he's got the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out for them. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. He goes out of bounds at the 28. from their own 28-yard line. Second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Complete. He's got room. That makes 
They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's taken down at the 42. They bring him down in the backfield. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Fields a punt at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. The Knights, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.